As you know, Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Walls gave an incredible speech in Arizona. Take a look at the front page of the Arizona Republic, though, earlier in the week. Arizona Republicans are lining up to support Harris, many also backing Democrat in Senate race against Carrie Lake. Take a look at the front cover from Friday, August 9th of the Arizona Republic. Never been something like this, talking about the momentum and energy right now in Arizona, supporting Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Walls. Uh, Take a look at this uh, post by Samuel Benson, a reporter in Arizona, who says, I've been to dozens of campaign rallies this cycle, Trump, Biden, Haley, DeSantis, This Harris rally in Glendale, Arizona is by far the biggest crowd and biggest venue I've seen. Take a look at what Von Hilliard said, who knows Arizona politics better than mostly anyone. He goes, this could be the largest Democratic rally in Arizona history for Harris and Walls tonight. In January 08, ahead of the Democratic primary, Barack Obama gathered about 12,000 people in 2016. Hillary Clinton gathered 10,000. Not much to speak of for Dems before that. We're talking about over 20,000 people in this stadium that Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Walls packed. Now, the part I want to share and talk about, though, as well, is the fact that you have all of these Republicans in Arizona, like we're seeing across the nation right now, mainstream Republicans actual conservatives who are now supporting Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Walls putting country over party. You know, I've been sharing thousands of stories of people who have either left the Republican Party because the parties left them or they still technically consider themselves Republican but aren't voting Trump and aren't voting MAGA because MAGA isn't really Republican. It's not really conservative. And so we've been sharing these stories of people who have been leaving um, Donald Trump and leaving the Republican Party. And we asked you to share your stories and stories of your friends, colleagues, coworkers, neighbors, family members, anybody you know in the comments below. And for the past two, three years, we've been talking about this. And now I think we're seeing more people starting to discuss it. And I think it's important that we share it. I mean, we've gotten hundreds of thousands of responses. And sure, getting hundreds of thousands of stories shared with you of Americans who are ditching Trump or ditching the Republican Party, that's anecdotal, but that's sure a lot of data to have. And as I've always said, that data has been consistent with what we've seen in the primaries where Donald Trump was losing about 20% of the vote in closed Republican primaries of people who were voting for Nikki Haley when Donald Trump, um, when Nikki Haley had dropped out of the race. And so Donald Trump was underperforming his polls, like even in Michigan, he was underperforming the 538 model and polls by 15 points in terms of what actually happened on election day. Now, in this Arizona rally by Vice President Kamala Harris and uh, Governor Walls that we covered live on the Midas Touch Network, one of these incredible moments is when the mayor of Mesa, Arizona, John Giles, spoke. Now, um, Mayor Giles, the, let me be clear, Mesa, Arizona, is one. Of, it's the 36th largest city in the United States, but it is as conservative as you, I mean, it's a very conservative city in Mesa, Arizona. Let me just show you the hero's welcome that Republican Mayor John Giles got uh, in this Harris Walls rally. Here, play this clip. Please, please join me in putting country over party and stopping protecting our, the rule of law, protecting our constitution, and protecting the democracy of this great country. That is why, that is why I'm standing with Vice President Harris and Governor Walls. And the crowd was going wild for, you know, a Republican mayor. And the Republican mayor, John Giles, then talks about putting country over party. He says, I don't even recognize the Republican Party anymore. Here, play this clip.
Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I am the very proud mayor of Mesa, Arizona, but I... Thank you. Thank you. But I, I have to say, I feel maybe a little out of place today. Uh, partly, partly because we're in beautiful Glendale. Okay, there's that. But as you may know, I'm a lifelong Republican. All right? Now, I have to thank, thank you for your warm response. I have to tell you that I, can, I do not recognize my party. It has been... The Republican Party has been taken over by extremists that are committed to forcing people in the center of the political spectrum out of the party. So I, I have something to say to those of us who are in the political middle. Um, you don't owe a damn thing to that political party. In particular, you do not owe anything to a party that is out of touch and is hell-bent on taking our country backward. And by all means, you owe no displaced loyalty to a candidate that is morally and ethically bankrupt. So again, to all of us, I would say, in the spirit of the great Senator John McCain, please... Please, please join me in putting country over party and stopping... and stopping Donald Trump uh, and protecting our, the rule of law, protecting our Constitution, and protecting the democracy of this great country. That is why, that is why I'm standing with Vice President Harris and Governor Walz. Look. I'm going to talk about it. Your sex life, it's important, but your schedule is busy. You don't have time to go to a doctor's office to get treated for ED. Through Hims, you can get a personalized ED treatment without stepping foot outside your door. Hims is changing men's health care by providing access to affordable sexual health treatments, all from the comfort of your couch. Hims provides access to a range of doctor-trusted ED treatments, such as chewable hard mints, proven treatments like Viagra and Cialis, or their generics for up to 95% cheaper. The process is simple and 100% online, no uncomfortable doctor visits. Just answer a series of questions on their site and a medical provider will determine the right treatment option. If prescribed, your medication ships directly to you for free. No insurance is needed. You pay one low price for your treatments, online visits, ongoing shipments, and provider messaging. Hims has hundreds of thousands of trusted subscribers, so if ED is getting you down, it's time you find the option that works for you. Start your free online visit today at hims.com com slash Midas, M-E-I-D-A-S. Again, start your free online visit today at hymns.com slash Midas. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash Midas for your personalized ED treatment options. Hymns.com slash Midas. The products mentioned are chewable compounded products, which are not approved by or verified for safety or effectiveness by the FDA. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Earlier in the week, um, Republican Mayor John Giles and other uh, Republican leaders in Arizona held a press conference, um, Republicans for Harris, Arizona. Um, and this was an incredible press conference. I want to share it with you right now. Play the clip. And I think the time has come for us as Arizona Republicans to admit the obvious and to start saying the quiet part out loud, which is that our party's nominee is not qualified for office and that we need to vote for the, for the adult in the room, and that is Kamala Harris. It is time to put partisan loyalties aside and vote for the leadership that will truly represent the people we want to be 
in the eyes of the world. Character matters. And we've been sharing stories like this across the nation. Um, here's a story right here of a Trump voter, Elizabeth, previously voted for Trump, no longer voting for him this time. Here, play this clip. I will never, ever vote for another Republican in my life until they come on and rebuke Trump and everything that has gone on. It just disgusts me. I would vote for Mickey Mouse before I voted for Trump. My name is Elizabeth. I live in Texas. I voted for Trump the first time. For the Republican Party to move forward and to believe that, you know, all of this is okay, everything, all the criminal action, believing that the vote was stolen. It even sickens me more. I will never, ever vote for another Republican in my life until they come on and rebuke Trump and everything that has gone on. It just disgusts me. I would vote for Mickey Mouse before I voted for Trump. He definitely wants to be a dictator. He is a coward. And I just can't believe that all of his lies, that people do not see that. I, I just don't understand it. So I will not be voting for Trump. I will vote for Biden. And I will not vote for another Republican in my life, no matter what, until the Republican Party stands up and talks against him. It's, it is appalling. I always like to share your stories as well. Here are some of the stories that you've shared with me. Vicki wrote, Ben, I voted for Trump in 2016, but learned my lesson very quickly. That was the biggest mistake of my life. Never voted for him again. I voted for Biden and will continue to vote for democracy. Then someone responds that my husband did as well and now feels the same. He despises Trump and regrets his vote in 2016. The next response, my veteran husband did too. He's so excited now to give Kamala and Tim his vote this year. Next comment, same, I'm the proud daughter of a Texas Vietnam veteran and our family is voting blue up and down the ballot. This nightmare has to stop. P.S. Thank your husband for me for his service to our country. I'm a lifetime Republican and voted Trump twice. Never again, someone writes, faith in humanity has been restored. Someone goes, I did the same thing and I felt awful after. I voted for Trump in 2016. I voted for Biden and will now be voting for Kamala. Rachel writes, my mom voted for Trump, hoping that a non-politician would be a nice change. She quickly regretted her decision. Bill's Mafia writes, I voted for Trump in 2016 and have regretted it ever since Sean Spicer came out to argue about the crowd size at the inauguration. In the years since, I have realized that not all MAGA supporters are racist, but all the racists support MAGA. Do you remember that moment? Let me show you that. Here's Sean Spicer back in 2016. Play the clip. I think I'd like to discuss a little bit of the coverage of the past 24 hours. Photographs of the inaugural proceedings were intentionally framed in a way to minimize the enormous support that had gathered on the National Mall. This was the first time in our nation's history that floor coverings have been used to protect the grass in the mall. That had the effect of highlighting any areas where people were not standing, while in years past, the grass eliminated this visual. Inaccurate numbers involving crowd size were also tweeted. No one had numbers because the National Park Service, which controls the National Mall, does not put any out. We know that from the platform, where the president was sworn into 4th Street holds about 250,000 people. From 4th Street to the media tent is about another 220,000. And from the media tent to the Washington Monument, another, another 250,000 people. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period, 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 period. Or that was shortly after the 2016 election, rather. But here we are in 2024. And this past week, Donald Trump gave that press conference. And what's he talking about? The same stupid thing. The crowd sizes and saying his crowd size at the insurrection was bigger than Martin Luther King. It wasn't. The insurrection was one of the most dastardly and disgusting days in the history of our of our nation. Who, who cares about your crowd size? Talk about issues that matter to the American people. Enough with the stupid crowd size thing. This was him from... <laughs> this was him from earlier earlier this week. Here, play the clip. The biggest crowd I've ever spoken before was that day. And I'll tell you, uh, 
It's very hard to find a picture of that crowd. The biggest crowd I've ever spoken, I've spoken to the biggest crowds. Nobody's spoken to crowds bigger than me. If you look at Martin Luther King, when he uh, did his speech, his great speech, and you look at ours, same real estate, same everything. And they said he had a million people, but I had 25,000 people. But when you look at the exact same picture, and everything's the same because it was the fountains, the whole thing, all the way back to uh, from Lincoln to Washington. And you look at it, uh, we actually had more people. They said I had 25,000 and he had a million people. And I'm okay with it because I liked Dr. Martin Luther King. Yeah, please. I mean, seriously, what in the world is that? Um, some more comments here. I voted for Trump back in 2016. I thought he would help people who needed it the most. Stupid me. The only person he helped was himself. Never again. I'm voting for Harris Walls. Um, and then this next person writes, my mother typically doesn't vote or pay attention to politics. She has other struggles in life that keep her distracted. But after a long time of keeping her filled in on the topics and slow, deliberate encouragement, she is voting for Howard's Walls. She never believed her vote matters, but she's dutifully voting her conscience this election. Thanks, mom. I'm proud of you. Look, we can all make a difference. We can all have these conversations. Think about it. 28 million people have watched this YouTube channel in 48 hours. 28 million. That's more than MSNBC, CNN, and Fox. But think about this too, that you who watch this, this community is engaged as well. So what we can do is we can reach out to people and then we can be ambassadors for good and change. So if we just do a little bit every day, just think about what we can accomplish together by after you watch this video, give someone a call, share this network, let them see this video and let me see this stuff. I wanna leave you with this. Remember our video that we made Trump the snake when Trump tells that story about the snake and letting the snake in and his version is a very xenophobic one. But ultimately with Trump, it's always projection and confession. He's the snake. So let me show you the snake video that we made over four years ago. Play the clip. Who has heard the poem called the snake? My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. Well-documented and severe financial downturn in the past year. You you know about sexual predators and things like that. Right. I mean, uh, you sure. are one. All right. <laughs> and it's more than anger. It's hatred. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. Down the path, along the lake, a tender-hearted woman saw a poor, half-frozen steak. You'll absolutely love Trump steaks. More than 150 former students allege Trump University was a fraud. Persistently illegal conduct at the president's charity. Take me in, oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, oh tender woman. Sigh, the vicious. Did you denounce what happened in 2016? President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. He withheld the money, he withheld the meeting, he used it to coerce Ukraine to do these political investigations. The American embassy in Baghdad under siege. She stroked his pretty skin again and held him tight. The Chinese government awarded Ivanka Trump's brand seven new trademarks. They're a pack of grifters. His campaign manager's got two condos, a Ferrari, a yacht, and they're all just fleecing the campaign. That snake gave her a vicious bite. The coronavirus. This is their new hoax. The U.S. now leading the world in deaths. No, I don't take responsibility at all. This is a great success story. I have saved you, cried the woman, and you've bitten me heavens wide. You know your bite is poisonous, and now I'm going to die. We want to terminate health care. Right, and then I see the disinfectant. Shut up, silly woman, said the reptile with a grin. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. Can you believe that was four years ago? Still holds up today. Still holds up today. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers together. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.